so welcome back. Uh, season 3 of the video vlog. It is not going to be a daily thing. I just, I, I don't have the time. Um, I mean, I have the time. I can make the time. I just don't... Okay, to be a little self-deprecating, I guess is how you could say it. I'm not that creative. Um, I don't have that much energy to constantly do it daily and, and kick it out and make that time in my day to put together an edit, even if it's under six minutes or seven minutes or ten or two, it doesn't matter. So what I am trying to do instead is consistently post something daily on Instagram on not only my personal, uh, which is at Kyle Photo, but also uh, my company's, uh, which is at un.inc.studios, on Ink Studios. Um, I just launched that one trying to really push that one and build it. Right now, it's got a lot of things that I've been creating via Adobe Spark. Uh, really loving that app just because I can take something from taking a photo or having a photo in my phone or using some of the stock photos that they have and really crank something out a lot faster than if I came home, sat down at the desktop, whipped up uh, Illustrator or InDesign or anything like that. So I'm really enjoying using Adobe Spark and trying to see what all I can do with that and create some new things. I'm doing some different spec content for um, things just to try and get um, uh, daily motivation uh, sayings, trying to come up with some things for friends' companies and different things in the area to kind of drum up some business. Enough about that, though. What we're talking about today for this first episode back is something kind of big. Peter McKinnon hit on it uh, about a month ago, I believe, and it's the Adobe Terminator Remix Challenge. And the goal was, it was due on the 7th, so I've already turned my edit in, but I'm going to show that to you guys in a little bit. The deal was is that Adobe and the studios got together, gave some of the video files, some of the title uh, graphic files, and some of the dialogue from the movie to editors if you wanted it. You downloaded the asset pack and you got to play with it. And the goal was to make a minute or shorter trailer that you did everything for. You cut it all together. Uh, you did the music, sound effects was the biggest thing that I ran into trying to do, was getting the sound effects, creating some Foley, um, downloading some things. I found a new website uh, that's got an amazing catalog that they are not sponsoring anything I'm not affiliated with. I just actually enjoyed their content and paid them for a year subscription. It's called Zap Splat. Um, it's a wonderful group. They've got some great collections on there that you can immediately download if you're a premium member. I plan on using those in a lot of different videos. Uh, it's actually kind of challenged me to go back and really focus on sound design and doing different things like that. So that's this video. I want to show you guys the, the trailer and then see what you guys think. So here's the trailer that I cut for the Adobe Terminator Dark Fate Remix Challenge. August 29, 1997 it was supposed to be Judgment Day. But I changed the future, saved three billion lives. You may have changed the future, but you didn't change our fate. All right, so what'd you think? Um, I used some different music uh, that didn't come with it. I got that from Artlist.io, which I'm a member of. I will put the affiliate link there if you want to go try it out for free. Um, if you sign up and you pay for it, you get a month free. I get a month free. It's a wonderful hand-in-hand -hand deal. They are phenomenal. It's always updating. Um, you've probably seen their ads uh, playing before certain people's videos here on YouTube. Uh, it's it's a wonderful collection and it's always changing. On top of that, I used a lot of stuff from Zap Splat uh, for the sound design and the sound effects, uh, the gunfire, the plane crashing, um, the explosion with the grenade, things like that. Those were all layered in and kind of stacked on top of each other uh, with some different effects. 
And then, you know, use Adobe Premiere to edit the whole thing. And so I want to thank uh, Adobe, um, Terminator Dark Fate, James Cameron, like, you know, everybody involved with that project because I'm actually excited to see it. I've now seen that trailer so many times from not only editing it myself, but uh, also checking out several other people's online that have already posted them. So I'm a little behind on that, but, you know, we're getting to it. So, um... Yeah, that's this first little kickoff, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to start trying to come at least once a week, if not twice. Some weeks might be every day. I really don't know. I'm just trying to get back in the groove of being creative because I just haven't felt that way for a while. I took most of the summer off um, after doing a big movie and just being drained after that and trying to spend some time with some different um, you know, friends and family and my wife and the kids. And it's just, it's... You know, it's been it's been an interesting summer. So that's that. I want to thank you guys for watching. Click like and subscribe. And of course, like I said, if you want to check out any of the stuff that I use in this, links will be below for Artlist, Zapsplat, um, you know, obviously Adobe. You know, tell me what you guys think. I, you know, hit the comments up. I don't know. I mean, even if they're bad comments, give me a thumbs down, thumbs up, whatever. I, you know, hey, comments are comments, and uh, it can all work out. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.